Today we're going to be continuing the series of MMA fighters versus giant human beings. The other day we watched the UFC fighter Dustin Poirier fight and grapple with the world's strongest man, Brian Shaw. Dustin Poirier choked him out, Brian Shaw squished him, and it was overall pretty entertaining and also educational. We've spoke a lot on this channel about size versus skill, because what we're learning in these videos gives us more information to tackle the real world in a more realistic manner. Also, I'm a bit sick this week, so bear with me. I always say, skill beats size when size is not skilled, but this rule only applies up to a certain point. You can be the most skilled person in the world, but if you're coming up against an actual giant who is also the world's strongest man, those odds slightly tip towards the giant's favour. And today we're going to react to an absolute classic of a video. It's the Conor McGregor versus the Mountain from the Game of Thrones video, also known as Hathor Bjornsson, or Hathor Bjornsson. We'll just call him Thor. This was pretty entertaining when it came out, but there's a lot that's happened since then. Conor McGregor has blew up and got juiced to the gills, but also Thor actually now knows how to fight. So I think a good thing we can do today is take a look at this original video, break it down a little bit, and then also potentially break down what would happen if they both done this again today with their newfound skill and size. I'm always the one to say, if the skilled fighter who's small can pack on more size and a bit more more mass and get a bit stronger, then that'll help them versus these giants. So let's break it down. This could be quite interesting. Here they have an agreement to only do body strikes. Obviously, they're not going to punch to the head. They haven't got gloves on. This was before, long before Thor ever started boxing. You can see he's got a lot more mass on him in terms of body fat. And also Connor is significantly downsized in this video compared to what he's like now. But maybe here he's about 165 pounds, maybe 170 pounds at 5 foot 9. Thor in this video maybe about 300 pounds at 6 foot 9. So there's pretty much a whole foot difference between them and about 130, 140 pounds. So that's a big size discrepancy. Okay, nice body shot by Connor. You can clearly see Thor doesn't really know what he's doing. He's just taking the shots. <laughs> Obviously, that's his best bet, is to just run and grab Connor. Good moves by Connor there, so Thor just grabbed Connor. And obviously he's not using his full potential. I've seen a few people talk about in the Brian Shaw video the other day that Brian Shaw wasn't using his full strength. And of course he's not. If Brian Shaw or Hathor Bjornsson was to go all out crazy balls to the wall, he would have a better shot and would probably be able to ragdoll Conor McGregor. That being said, Conor McGregor's also not going 100% in terms of speed and explosiveness. So if this was a fight to the death, yes, Thor could try a lot harder and put more effort in but also, so could McGregor in terms of speed, evasiveness, agility, explosiveness. <laughs> Hathor's like, okay, let's finish. Connor's like, nah, come on, let's keep going. Keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> nice little front kick. See, Connor could, like, snap them front kicks a lot harder. And that's the key right there. See the way Connor was just backing up and moving away. Being able to move backwards and then use lateral movement is a weapon against these absolute giants of men. You have to make them chase you and hope that they get tired. I mean, just look at the size difference. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> he's literally twice the size of him. Look at his legs and his glutes. No homo. Whereas you look at Connor, he's got very small joints, which is amazing for that explosiveness, that fast twitch muscle fibre. Whereas half or Bjornsson is more so about the total maximal strength. But you got to remember, the guy benches 500, 600, 700 pounds. You need a good amount of fast twitch muscle fibres in order to be able to press that amount of weight. It's more so just his total body weight is going to slow him down. Okay, so Connor's hands fighting. Nice left hand. See, obviously Thor doesn't really know what to do here. But that's just because he's untrained. <laughs> nice feints. See, now Thor will probably chase him. Down. He's getting tired here a little bit. Thor will probably chase him. So there, for example... Thor could just throw him, but Connor's got really good balance. If he was to just go all out with all his strength, he could just pick Connor up, throw him on the ground, but obviously he doesn't want to hurt him. We know that, we accept that. That was nice. 
And don't get it twisted. One of those punches could easily break your rib just because of the total amount of mass he has. And as you're seeing, they're not slow punches. Okay, back him up. Nice little switch kick. That's it. See, Connor, just use that movement. You can see Thor's breathing heavy. Spinning back kick. <laughs> nice. Yeah, see, so he'll just put the pressure on now. Climb that mountain. And this is the thing, Connor's fast twitch, but he can do this all day because he's fighting a bigger guy who can't do this all day. The mountain slayer. Climb that mountain. Yeah. Okay, the audio switches off here for a moment. So we'll just narrate over it. So once again, Connor's using the lateral movements. You can see Thor's tiring out now. He's backing up a little bit. That's what you've got to bank on. But nowadays, obviously, Hathor is more trained. His cardio is a lot better. So this would go vastly different if they were to do this again. Now look, look the way Connor gets out. Bump, bump, side to side. Thor can't keep up that movement and chase the smaller guy round like that forever. And also these body shots are going to have an accumulating effect. So if you just keep going to the body on the bigger man, it will tire them out and gas them out a little bit more. That's a fast punch by Thor. Let's just back that up one. Look at this. He is quite fast twitchy when you take a look at it. Right, watch his punch now. It almost looks sped up. Let's do it one more time. Watch. Boom. That's very fast for someone who weighs 300 pounds. <laughs> nice. <laughs> See, the good movement by Connor. <laughs> Yeah, he goes up. <laughs> Connor still wants to go. Yes, take the back. <laughs> See, with the bigger guys as well, you do. You need to get to the back if you're going to submit them. You got to take the back, choke them out, rear naked choke. Do you know what? Right, even there, just when half four pulls Connor in, you can see how much power he possesses. Watch now. Look, they shake hands. Now watch. And just see, just that little pull, the Donald Trump handshake, he pulls in, hey, the fake news, African, American. The Donald Trump impression isn't the best, like. So very interesting there, Connor used his movements, he used his speed to just tire out Thor. Now, despite the fact that Thor wasn't trained, the simple size difference and weight discrepancy would play into it because there's that much more. Now, I've seen a few people in the comments say, there's no consistency. One minute you're saying that Demetrius Johnson would beat Bradley Martin and it doesn't matter about size. Next thing I'm saying that Conor McGregor would lose to Thor or Dustin Poirier would lose to Brian Shaw because of the size difference. No, let me just clarify something. What I'm saying and what I've always said is the Size doesn't matter when the smaller opponent is that much more skilled, but only up to a certain extent. I've always said that, and I've always said anything can happen in a fight, especially a street fight. But then taking that logic, it's the same here. Conor McGregor could actually destroy Thor. It's just you have to be very clever in how you approach the fight. I always say you've got to use leg kicks, knee stomps, kind of bank on the fact that the bigger person has got worse cardio. Maybe they've never been in a fight before. They've got bad coordination. They're not used to taking a punch. Maybe use the elements of surprise. So these are stances that I've always had. Of course, there's weight classes for the reason. We're not saying that here, but in a street fight or MMA, fight or when there's a big skill difference size doesn't matter as much as people make it out now when skill is a little bit more equated then yeah size matters a lot hence why you don't see a lot of fighters in the ufc who are in the lighter weight divisions go up to the heavier weight divisions and truly dominate we've got some examples we've seen alexander volkanovsky go up and fight islam and he absolutely smashed it but volk is the exception to the rule. I just had to clarify that because I've seen a few people say, oh, you're changing your stance. I'm not. I'm just showing both sides of the coin and laying out both arguments. So here's an interview of Hathor Bjornsson talking about that little exchange with Conor McGregor. Let's see how he interpreted it. it it's on this screen here, I think, now. Yeah, um, so he's, he's a little bit smaller than you. That's the bit where he's kind of... There, you. At this moment, I knew I could take him down, but I just didn't want to break him. Could you break him? I could. It feels that way, yeah? It, he felt very really light. And there as well, you know... I'm not going to interject much here, but he said I could break him, but also Conor McGregor could crack him. Even look at that screenshot right there. Perfect opening for the left hand from Conor. And could Conor McGregor knock out half or Bjornsson? Yes, you can't put muscles on your chin. I, I had him a few times, there, but I just I just didn't want to break him. He's quick on his feet. He's, he's quick, and he was very slippery as well, so it was hard to get a grip on him. 
But there were at least two moments, I think, I could have just messed him. Yeah, and there's probably about 10 moments, 20 moments where Connor could have KO'd you. I'm not used to getting punished, obviously. I'm, I'm no fighter, so my technique is just like... I'm wearing jeans and just some shoes on. I just took my shirt off and we were just joking. And, and he, he was just... He was just enjoy, in, enjoying himself to punch some fucking big wood there. <laughs> there he's starting to punch you in the in the stomach, and that's yeah, like... yeah. I just I was I was just I wasn't ready for this, and I was <laughs> obviously I'm a big guy. I was like, just fuck this. I'm not gonna run after this small guy. He he's running he's 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 running around, you know. And that was a sneaky. And, uh... and I, I I don't I don't I don't have cardio for for running around after a small guy. So yeah. I just. For anyone who fights knows how much of a wholesome moment this feels. Like, I feel good when watching two fighters have a little bit of a play around and then shake hands and hug after it. It almost gives me a lump in my throat. You know those bro moments where two lads bond over something like fighting? It's good feels, it's good feels. For running around after a small guy, so yeah. I just... I'm not Sneaky knee in the, in the ribcage at the end there as well. Yeah. The it seemed like he was taking that pretty seriously. He was. Yeah. He was. Like afterwards, when you extend a hand, he's like, all right, it's, okay to get, it's over now. Whereas before that, it was still game face on for Conor McGregor. I mean, bring me a shorts and put us in a, in a cage and, you know, I'll fight you again. Got to remember the competitors. If Conor McGregor went into Thor's world, he would treat it the same way in terms of competitiveness. He would push McGregor to do more reps, to lift more weight. McGregor was just pushing him to do longer. No, you're not giving up that easy. Your lungs are going to burn. And how many Conor McGregors would it take to beat you? Between one and three. Maybe five? Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot, yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, the less rules there are, the more it favours Conor McGregor. Because if Conor is also not confined to any rule set, he'll have certain tricks up his sleeve that he can pull out on Thor that would shock him and really hurt him. So it goes both ways. All the big fellas are like, yeah, bro, but when I go 100%, people won't know what's coming. I just black out, I see red, and I just snap, bro. Okay, yeah, but the other person can do that with more skill. All that being said, half Thor is a changed man. He smashed it with the boxing. Look at the shape of him now. He's athletic. He's lean, he's got his abs popping. He put in a good solid year of boxing training. Can't play this music because it's copyrighted, but we'll just mute that and let's have a little look -see. Like He's got a good one-two now. Forget what Eddie's doing because Eddie had an injured, was it his left arm in this, and he could only throw the right hook. Eddie was just a one-punch, one-trick pony. But if you look at Hathor Bjornsson, he has good distance management. He uses his jab to keep Eddie Hall at bay. And he throws two, three, four-punch combinations. Look at that. One, two, three. Little one-two hook there, looking smooth as butter. Good guard. Double jab. He's got a slim waist, his abs are popping, and he's still massive. So Conor McGregor versus Hathor Bjornsson now. Different ball game. That's a boss left hand that he just knocked down Eddie Hall with. I always find it funny when a fighter will mean mug their opponent at the end of just getting their ass whooped. It's like, why are you trying to act tough now? You just got battered. But to be fair, they squashed the differences. Now, all that being said, McGregor has also packed on the mass. Look at him. As of this year, he's downsized a little bit in the last few months. But take a look at his traps. Take a look at his delts. Look at his biceps and his lats. For pretty much a year straight when he injured his ankle, all he could really do was lift weights. So he definitely will have closed that gap on the weight difference and size difference. In these pictures, he's closer to 190 pounds, maybe even 200 pounds. There's a significant difference in how much muscle he had versus what he used to look like. I think this was his second fight against Poirier. And we can see here on the right, on the left, we've got Justin Gaethje. I actually think Justin Gaethje would probably start McGregor now, basically because of the inactivity. But McGregor here is a completely different an athlete now than what he was when he had that little bit of a sparring session with Hathor Bjornsson. So would this version of McGregor be able to beat Hathor Bjornsson? Well, I'm going to say, yeah, he's probably got more of a chance now that he's got more mass on him than he used to have when he was smaller because he'll still have enough speed and enough cardio to have the speed and cardio advantage against someone like Thor. He doesn't need to be in his lightweight condition to beat someone like that. The extra mass, the extra density, the extra body weight, the extra strength will help him in those grappling exchanges against someone like Thor. It will also give him a little bit more power and more pop on his punches so then when he cracks Thor he'll feel it a lot more final conclusion I think if it was a boxing fight half or Bjornsson would win I think if it was a street fight or MMA fight with no or minimal rules I'd give the juiced up Connor a little bit more of a chance of winning just my opinion but what do you guys think comment down below I want to know your thoughts let me know if you like these type of videos if you're new to the channel we cover all sorts here mainly fighting and fitness stuff but we also like to sprinkle some life lessons in along the way we're on our journey to 100k this year so if you like this type of content subscribe with notifications turned on like the video we upload every single day so i'll see you all tomorrow